how to make money on Facebook in 2018 and beyond. In this video, I'm going to give you four things in particular that you really need to focus on if you want to know how to make money on Facebook in 2018. Let's get into this. So the very first thing I want to talk about is before I get into those four different strategies is understand that there are giveaways on every single video that I'm putting out in 2018 and for the rest of my life, okay? I'm going to be doing this forever, guys. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to subscribe, you need to click on the bell notifications because you want to be commenting on all of the other videos and liking them as well to increase your chances of winning this prize okay so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the three coolest comments on every single video that we put out there and we are going to give winners at the end of every single month you know we might even ramp it up to the point where we are doing it on every single week and you do not want to miss out on the kick-ass prizes that we're giving out right now we're offering a 444 dollar package that includes training a channel evaluation and cash to your paypal account all right so let's now get stuck into this now that you've actually done that the very first thing you want to talk about when it comes to making money on facebook in 2018 is your fan page okay so this is probably the most common way of doing things People build a fan page, but then you have to pay in order to play. Now, we will talk about paid ads a little bit earlier later on. And what I actually recommend it is that you really truly do with Facebook. But for now, you can talk about fan pages. Fan pages allow you to really build a personal brand. Okay. Now, if that's what it is that you're doing, for example, people that are in eyelashes, I've got a friend that's gotten involved and I recommended to her a couple of things that she can do and she's gone ahead and created a Facebook fan page so that she can start advertising to very specific people in a very specific area using paid advertising, okay? So a fan page allows you to reach a number of people because unlike your personal page, Fan pages don't have a limit to the number of people that I can actually get to them. The only downside with that is the fact that Facebook makes you pay in order to play. So you could have a thousand fans on your fan page and only, you know, 60 to 70 of them will actually see any one message that you put out there unless you pay to reach out to those particular customers. Now, there is nothing wrong with that at all. As long as you've got your paid advertising and your marketing campaigns dialed in so that you're not pumping in too much cash and losing too much on the other end, okay? So point number two on how to make money with Facebook in 2018 is groups. Now, groups, there are two different types, okay? One is basically a spamming group that you join and there are thousands and thousands of people that are just basically posting crap, okay? Basically, there is no value in these kinds of groups and what happens is everyone just, pop, there's comment after comment, post after post about people promoting whatever it is that they want to try and sell. You don't want to be one of those people, okay? You can use one of those groups to promote perhaps maybe your other group or your fan page or even have people come to you, but you do not want to build one of those groups. There is no real value in doing that. The way you actually want to do it instead is you want to build a tight niche private group that you are in 100% control of. And then the way you actually want to do that is you want to build a group that focuses on something very specific, right? Think of your group as almost like a blog or a YouTube channel, right? And what I mean by that is that you're not going to create a blog, or at least you shouldn't, that, uh, that talks about, you know, 15 different topics. You want to tighten it. You want to create basically a niche that you can really focus and hone in on what your message actually is. In building a group, it creates a lot of engagement. You only want to add people that are actually interested in what it is that you do as opposed to just adding anyone. Don't focus on numbers is what I'm trying to say. Focus less on quantity. Focus more on quality. Create groups that help you create communities, which is really what online marketing is all about these days okay so that's a very very good way of going about and doing things my point number three on how to make money on facebook in 2018 is your personal page yes there is a way that you can make money on your personal page but it's not the way you think about it so you make sure you watch this point okay so here's the thing guys number one most people just spam on their pages. I talked earlier about the groups and the mistakes that people made. What you want to do instead is focus on providing some real value. You want to use your page as a way of connecting with people personally because that allows you to really resonate and polarize your market, bringing through the right people, right? If all you do is post your link, number one, Facebook is going to reduce the number of people that actually see what it is you have to offer. Number two, Facebook will probably eventually mark you as spam 
and disallow you from sharing that link anyways, okay? A smarter way of going about doing it is providing something of value that is that lines, aligns with your niche, okay? So let's say, for example, <clears throat> your uh, niche is online uh, marketing, okay? Now, what you'd want to do instead of saying, going on there and, hey, look, buy my course. You know, Here's my $97 course. Here's my business opportunity. It's $5,000 and you know what I mean? Instead of doing that crap, okay? Because that's what amateurs do. You want to provide things of value instead. Maybe write up a daily post that has to do with online marketing or provide a, uh, not necessarily a daily, but once in a while, perhaps maybe once a week or once every two weeks, every time you create a private training, allow people to get involved with that particular training provide it uh, you could even turn blog posts or videos into free opt-in magnets right uh, post it on your page like hey look i've just created a video on how to make money on facebook and the four different ways in which you can go about doing that for anyone who wants a video do please inbox me and i will send you the information in doing so it allows you to build your list but it also allows you to build your personal page okay people are going to like you because you're not being obnoxious and in their face and hard selling them instead you're trying to provide value right so you come across and it allows you to build your authority which is another topic but it also helps you build your brand okay which is a very good way as well to help build your personal business okay through your per, uh, your personal page you can build your brand you can build your authority in a very very smart way instead of just trying to product vlog is what i call it okay so point number four on how to make money on facebook in 2018 is using paid ads now one thing is very very clear when it comes to paid ads in the last two to three years alone the profits in paid ads have reduced heavily and i'm talking anywhere from 65 you know up to 95 percent depending on how dialed in someone's sales funnel is so i wouldn't necessarily recommend to be 100 percent honest with you advertising directly on facebook itself you know like you've got a product you know it's worth a thousand dollars you're going to pump in a thousand dollars worth of advertising and see if you can get two sales because hey if you can invest a thousand and get two thousand you are killing it but here's the thing the numbers have proven that the that it's really dropped right Facebook ads have basically gotten to a point of where Google ads are. And that is that the amount of money that you pump in doesn't necessarily compensate for the amount of money that you're going to be getting out of it. The best funnels in the world are getting 20 to 30% profits, right? Which is really a slim margin because if you screw up, that 20 to 30% could disappear very, very quickly. So how, what would I actually recommend you do in terms of how to make money on Facebook um, in 2018 with paid ads? What I would suggest to you is instead of doing paid ads, I would I would honestly urge you to look at retargeting, okay? Retargeting is so much cheaper than paid ads. Why? Because the people are way more qualified. Now, even though you may have to pay the same amount for retargeting people as paid ads, which you're probably sitting there thinking going, that makes absolutely no sense at all. Let me explain to you briefly, okay? When you do paid ads, you're going out to anyone and everyone involved in a specific niche, okay? Or someone who likes someone. You might, as a marketer, target someone who likes Tony Robbins because, you know, a lot of people who are in personal development, you know, are willing and wanting to build their own business. So that makes sense. However, the cost to get a lead because those people are cold traffic to you, meaning they don't know you from a bar of so, is too high to justify the money that you invest, okay? What I would honestly recommend instead is retargeting, okay? And what's actually retargeting? Retargeting is when someone comes to past maybe your YouTube channel or to your blog or to somewhere that they actually know you and you're able to place a pixel on their computer. What that means is it will track their whereabouts Every time they go to Facebook, for example, after they've read your blog, right, they're semi-familiar with you, they read your content, we have to assume that they like your content, you're putting quality stuff out there, they're going to be interested in what it is that you have to offer. So when they go when they go to Facebook and they see your ad, it's not necessarily a paid ad to, hey, buy this or buy that, we're going to do it like the personal page. We are going to give them an offer of something free that they can opt into our email list because... Here's the thing, guys. People don't buy on the very first time that they see something. Okay, someone someone buys on the first, someone buys on the 50th, okay? But here's the thing. The average numbers have shown over the years that it takes seven times to see one offer in order for someone to actually buy into something. I would honestly think that even nowadays it's probably getting more to like 10, 11, 12, or 13 times because people are becoming more and more skeptical and more and more protective of their money and how they go about doing business online, okay? So the reason you want to do retargeting is because people are already warm to you, they're more inclined to jump onto your email list. Once they jump onto your email list, you can market to them again and again.